heaven is upset with some of us, you know, because too many of us are asking for provisions and open doors and breakthroughs. <laughs> today sharing this very very powerful uh, message it's important in the sense that there are so many of us who have started stuff and have not completed them and I'm here to let you know it's time to finish it so I'm going to just share this thought and this meditation with you and it says pick it back up yeah pick it back up finish it it's time to finish it it's time to finish it. Tell yourself it's time to finish it. It's time to finish it. It's time to finish it. If you pick it back up, the Lord will tell you what to do with it. If you pick it back up, the Lord will tell you what to do with it. And if you obey the Lord this time, you won't have to drop it again. You know, when he started the thing in you, his intention was to finish it. So how come you start it and don't want to finish it? How come you started it and you have left it? What he started, he intends to finish. Hallelujah. It's time for us to complete it. It's time for completion. You know, it's time to finish what he started in you. What you put down must be finished. And I'm just going to deliberately be a blessing with this word today. You will not be at ease until you finish it you know what that it is so you will not be at ease until you finish it so i'm here to remind you that what you put down must be picked up and must be finished there's an unfinished task you know just before he requires it just before he comes back and check on it there's an unfinished task that you must finish it's time to finish it once and for all the delay that has been over it, it's time to finish it once and for all. Whether it fell from you and got broken in pieces, whether it, you know, it was crashed, or whether you wrote it off, you buried it, whatever happened to it, the Lord still sees it as unfinished and he wants you to finish it. It's that important where he sees it and he knows that this thing is essential but you have left it undone he sees it as unfinished he will bring back to memory that thing that you must finish yes sir he will bring back to memory that thing that you must finish yes ma'am he will in order for you to see the progress in your life that you've been looking for it could be in that thing that is unfinished wow it could be in that thing that is unfinished Hmm. I know you have moved on to other things that are easier to accomplish and may have given you an easier start. But I, I guarantee you, you see that thing as challenging as the start may have been, that's the thing you should aim to finish. That's the thing you should aim to finish. Seems challenging to start, but aim to finish it. Maybe someone called you down from it. Maybe someone distracted you from it. You know, but I remember Nehemiah sent to the messengers, I can't come down, I'm doing a great work. How must the work of the Lord cease and I come down to you? You know, Nehemiah 6 verse 3. So if there is any son, Balat and any Tobiah and Jeshem that called you down and got you distracted, the Lord has preserved you so that you can finish it. So the fact that you're still here, he has preserved you so you can finish what he started in you. Finish it. You made a vow that you'll finish it and the Lord requires it four times. Nehemiah said, the, 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 the messengers uh, sent message to him and he, he replied, he gave them the same reply. I can't come down. You have to tell others who are calling you down and saying, no, no man, leave that. Don't tell him, no, I can't come down. I have to finish it. The Lord requires it. 
this work is too great i must get it done you have to tell yourself consistency commitment and dedication you know have to be, be a part of my life this season it must matthew 10 16 the lord says to behold i i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be therefore as serpents and harmless be therefore wise as serpents rather and harmless as doves you have a work to do and it can't be stopped right now so be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove because you must finish it solomon said i have noticed something else under the sun that the race is not to the swift nor the battle to the strong another version puts it this way the fastest the fastest runner doesn't always come out as the winner and the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle ecclesiastes 9 11 don't watch the speed at which others are going just ensure you finish you finish your it ensure you finish your race ensure you finish what you should finish and whatever the lord started in you ensure you finish it it's time to throw off the weight and the, that that hinders you and the sin that you know easily beset you and entangle you and run with perseverance the race marked out for you fixing your eyes on jesus the pioneer one version says and the perfecter of your faith hebrews 12 1 to 3 a gentle reminder to you wherever you are whoever you are you can finish it because you're not doing this alone you can finish it because you're not doing this alone instead of telling yourself you can't do it say god all things are possible with you that's what you need to start telling yourself god all things are possible with you Instead of saying, I don't know what to do, say, God, all knowledge come from you. And he said, if you ask for wisdom, he giveth all man liber liberally. James 1 verse 5. Instead of saying you're tired, say, God, yeah, your strength is made perfect in my time of weakness. Every time you think of carrying this alone, think of the Lord who wants to help you to carry it. Let him show you how. It's the only way. You will finish strong if the Lord shows you how. It's the only way you're going to finish strong if the Lord shows you how. Oh, hallelujah. I love this one. Some of us, we have given up on what we have not even started yet. Oh, barring out none. Some of us, we have given up on what we have not even started yet. But the Lord requires it. Some ideas that he has given unto us, the, the ideas didn't get a chance to materialize. We need to pick that back up. Go back for it, surrender it to the Lord, and let him show you the how. Let him show you the how. Many of what we put down could be the game changers in our lives right now. Many things we can't bother to carry out could be that very thing that bring brings the biggest financial breakthrough and shift in our lives. That thing that we can't carry out and we can't bother to carry out could be that thing that brings the biggest financial shift in our lives, but we dropped it. The very thing that was supposed to birth the breakthrough, we couldn't bother with it. So heaven is upset with some of us, you know, because too many of us are asking for provisions and open doors and breakthroughs. But when God gives us insights and foresights and knowledge and, and ideas and dreams and visions to birth something to make the way, we think it's too hard to be fulfilled. But let me tell you this. That there are some things that won't be handed out to you. You will have to position yourself to start something before you see that open door. And finish that thing before you see the breakthrough. Did you hear me on that one? Finish it. You know what it is. You will have some valleys through it. You have some mountains to climb, but finish it. It must be finished because the Lord requires it. What has the Lord put on you or put in you that you have not been faithful over? He's going to come back and check on it. You know you know how much more you could have gotten had you been faithful with that what you uh, should have finished? Oh, yes. You better pick it back up. You know, it, it's time now to, to experience that shift in your life. That shift in your life is depending on your willingness to pick it back up. You have to pick up yourself with it, pick up yourself with it as well, and finish it. Don't leave this unfinished task unfinished. It's time to finish it. I thought it necessary that you should get that word, and I, I've shared it, and I'm so happy I did. It's time to finish it. You know what that it is. It's time to finish it.
it's time to finish it hallelujah i pray that the lord will help you to finish it and that you will position yourself you know and begin to finish what was started that unfinished task must be finished my name is Abigail blair i trust that you were inspired today let me know how this word has been a blessing to you and very relevant to the season that you're in right now finish it i see you again in the next video